Hi friends and welcome to the channel. Today we are going to have a little bit of fun with Mini and Sparky. Um, as you know, um, the SDK for Mini has been released. So Mini can now fly waypoints with Drone Link and um, follow and track with um, apps like Leechy in the beta version at the moment. But today we are going to discuss Mini and Drone Link and Sparky and Litchi because Spark can fly waypoints with Litchi where Mini can't at the moment, and, but Mini can fly waypoints with Drone Link. So we're going to do a comparison today of Drone Link with Mini and Litchi with Spark. So um, guys, uh, let's get into it, but um, I do have to tell you to make the test a little bit fair. Uh, I did uh, I did put mini into um, 1080 at 30 frames per second and spark obviously can only film at 1080 30 frames per second so just to make it a little bit fair I did do that um, at the end of the video guys um, I will put up the um, the versions that I've recorded um, on both of the drones uh, just clips off both of the drones, but I've slowed it down to 80% to get it down to 24 frames per second for you. So that makes it a lot smoother, which is a lot nicer. And then you guys can see for yourself what uh, for yourselves what the difference is between the two. And I have um, I have put um, basically a mark of which is Sparks and which is Mini's videos. So guys, without further ado, let's actually get into. Um, the actual applications, Litchi and DroneLink, and I think we'll start with Spark first, and then we'll take it from there, and we'll get into DroneLink with Mini after that, and then after that we'll show you um, nice footage from both of the drones. So enjoy it, guys, and if you like content like this, by the way, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, um, and if you don't like it, tell me why, and tell me what I can do to better it for you. And like always guys, enjoy and we'll chat to you now. Okay friends, here we are in the Lychee Mission Hub and I've just designed a short mission um, for the Spark to fly around this um, stadium and capture a video for us. Uh, so I'm going to export this to a CSV for us and we're going to open it in Google Earth and see what the what the mission actually looks well should look like and then we'll take the sparks footage and compare the two so let's export this to a csv and then we'll go open it up in google earth okay friends we've now opened the csv in um in google earth and if we click on the Boxburg Stadium, which is what I've named the mission, and we go click on the virtual mission, this mission should start playing for us, and this is what the, the actual mission should look like. So for time's sake, I'm going to fast forward this, just so that we can compare the two footages, and compare what Google Earth looks like to what we actually get on the Spark. mission looks great so far and hopefully with the spark we'll get the same result so let us go and see what the sparks footage looks like now okay friends here is sparks original footage sped up 10 times and I quite like it I think it's very close to Google Earth and I think spark did a really really good job and let me know what you guys think in the comments and then we'll move on to Mini and see how Mini did in the same exercise. Okay friends, here we are in the Drone Link website and I've tried to design a very very similar mission to what Spark had um, for Mini and if we now go and have a look at the mission preview we can actually export that to Google Earth as well and then we can have a look in Google Earth what that looks like 
and then we'll also do the same exercise we did with the Spark and compare the footage from Google Earth to um, to what we get in the actual footage from Mini. Okay, so that is now exported and we will go open that up in Google Earth. Okay friends, here we are, we've opened up the file in Google Earth Pro and once again it's called Boxburg Stadium Video, we'll double click on that and this time with um, Drone Link we use the flight motion and this is what the mission should look like. So let's fast forward it again, just for time's sake and hopefully Mini's mission will look exactly the same. Doesn't look bad, looks good. And we'll see if Min if Mini flew the same path uh, on the actual mission. We're gonna test that out now now. Let's forward it a little bit more. There we go. And that's what the mission should look like. Great, let's go and see what Mini's actual footage looks like. Okay friends, here is Mini's original footage and I think Mini did a great job too. Looks very similar to Google Pro, Google Earth Pro and also sped up 10 times. Let me know what you think in the comments guys and we'll take it from there. Okay friends, here is a photo from Spark and a photo from Mini and the footage that has been slowed down. So I hope you enjoy it and chat soon. Bye for now.